Hi. <clears throat> I guess this thing's on. All right. Um, wait. Oop. There you go. Now that the camera's in the right place, or I'm in the right place, maybe I'll move over a little. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> My throat's bothering me. My stomach is bothering me. I really didn't feel like doing this today, but I've been off for the last couple of days. Um, watching GDQ, the summer game's done quick. Uh, I was watching last night with my son. It was kind of cool. Uh, my son, he uh, <laughs> he started playing uh, Super Metroid yesterday as a result of watching the Metroid race and wanting to be a part of that. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, I've been off watching them. We were watching last night when they made their push to two million. <clears throat> All thanks to Twitch chat. We even donated a little. Got to teach him to donate or teach him a lesson or teach him something. Um, so I'm back now, and we're going to go this week. I uh, need to get through the next game in the Resident Evil series. Chances are also I will be playing another game. I did buy a new game yesterday. I don't know if I'll play that game particularly on stream, but... Oh, there's the sounds. I will do something. Um, also working out a follower plan, if you look, uh, 49 followers currently, trying to get to 100 before the end of the summer, yeah, you can hear my bottle cap, uh, drinking regular liquid courage tonight. Because, yeah. Um, yeah, looking at it, I think what's going to happen is that <clears throat> I have quite a few games. Um, extras, if you will, or just games from uh, Humble Bundles and other things that I will be more than happy to give away on stream. Uh, just looking for a good way to do that. So, my guess is right now, chances are... Um, if you are a loyal watcher, we see some regulars show up on a regular basis. Loyal watchers and new followers will probably be entered into a chance to win some of those games. <coughs> I don't know which games we're going to do, and I'm not 100% sure how we're going to do that just yet. I'm just spitballing ideas I'm having. But for tonight's enjoyment... 49 out of 100 followers. Uh, gonna play that Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil Zero, um, where we left off. This is part two. Part two may be a while. This might take a few minutes. Excuse me. Are the faint sounds of footsteps those of survivors? No, probably not. All right, so first, we made it into the mansion. Now, for those who don't know the lore or whatever else it is that's going on around here, the mansion is not the mansion from the original Resident Evil. You can definitely tell that the layout is different. You can definitely tell that there's some creepy shit going on in here with homie's face just right there in the middle. That's creepy. Ugh. Um... But we got off the train. That was what was important. No more train. There are a few things out here. You can see there are plants just laying here. Let's go to my inventory. See if we can't put some stuff down. We're going to leave the ink ribbon. Change characters. Let's leave the empty bottle. Let's leave this first aid spray too. Let's go back down the hole. Uh, this is where we came up from the train. There was a few things on the ground here. We want to pick those few things up and bring them upstairs because, you know... You're just not 100% sure if you're going to need them or not. But we're... Because you can put items down in this game, it doesn't really have a box for storage like every other Resident Evil game on Earth. 
what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick up what we can, and we're gonna use that middle area, that courtyard, or that foyer in the mansion. Uh, we're gonna use that as... Anything here? No? Okay, cool. We're gonna use that foyer as kind of like an item storage collection area, because as is the case with most things, you route back to that center area a whole lot. <clears throat> All right, live for seven minutes, and no frame drops. It's amazing. Got some new audio for the stream tonight. I had gotten them the other day when I did my great audio search, but I just hadn't connected them up to uh, the stream yet. But I have them now, and my new favorite way to start out anything. Nervous? Yes. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. Yes, I've been nervous lots of times. Also, excellent. As much as I love that sound, we had to get the counterpart. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. All right, let's see what we can find in these places. This mansion. Let's start exploring the mansion with liquid courage. Hey, look, auto targeting doesn't seem to show anything. First door, hallway one. Day two. Nope, nothing there. Oh. What are with these gas cans? I can't pick any of that up yet. I'll check it out. Roger. Uh, okay. Let's regroup. Roger. Oh, I have a home. Things just happened. Oh, I got no bullets. Oh, I got slime. Oh, we got slime. That's nice. Stuff just comes in here. Stuff. Oh, man. Houston, we have a problem. Um, come with me. Come with me if you want to live. I should get that. I should get that as an audio cue. Let's go. Yeah. Back out to where all the healing is. And all the things that are in that bathroom that we could pick up. <laughs> Commander you Root, did, Bolin. now you following. Did you did the thing. Thank you, Commander Root. I appreciate it. No, that's not what I meant to do. Damn these controls. That's right. We just hit 50. 50 followers. That makes me excited. I mean, it could be much worse. It could be... It could be a good thing. It's just good. I like it. Thank you, Commander Root, for the follow. I appreciate it. Alright. What do we got here? You clearly need to use that. Also, get that shotgun up and ready. You know why? Because shotguns are fun. <clears throat> I would never ever want anyone to get confused that somehow Resident Evil is a good example of firearm safety because it's not can I just say that it's not okay now that I've killed the thing see that's what I was thinking I was thinking they were gonna jump out of the bathroom stalls or something no they just walk in the door after you do like they're randomly roaming the halls I want to exchange that just put that right there Just, just load it up. There you go. Now, load it up. Now we're good. Now she can pick up more herbs. Because more herbs is amazing. Maybe she can combine herbs. So, I mean, what does that make? Rebecca Chambers. Remember, we have to call her that because of her attitude she presented on the chain. But, you know, if... 
if Jill is the master of unlocking, then Rebecca Chambers is the master of combining herbs, I guess. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Let's go blow up some stuff. Hey, look, there's a window. I'll go. Okay. No, you come too. Come on. Yeah. Let's go team venture. Okay, there's a clock. And some other things. Are you kidding me again? Oh, let's reload. And let's not get blown up. Run away. Or let's get blown up. That works too. Dude, what the hell? Brother can't find regular zombies. Gotta find this, you know, slug slime shit everywhere. It's ridiculous. Is one just gonna show up out here? Okay. What is this? What is this personal thing? A set of tools to mix and prepare medicines. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why she can do that. Alright, dude, apparently he needs to eat too, or heal. He's got a lighter. Okay. Let's go upstairs, see what there is to see. Hallway 2! Our situation has not improved. Oh good, I like ravens. Take the crank handle, okay. Just run out, run out, run out, run out, run out. Okay, we're safe. <clears throat> when I go back in there, are there gonna be more of them? Are they going to still be there? Let's find out. Whew. Yep. <laughs> yeah, use the shotgun shells. That's what we need. Please, like, continue to use valuable ammo. Look, it's a tree. Oh, it's wilted. Dang it. Okay. It seems like... An odd room. Oh. Notice all staff. <clears throat> Much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the vac Vaccine Research and Infectious Agents team will be held. Both meetings are security level 5 and will be held in the following locations. First floor, West Operations Control Room. Second floor, Southeast Meeting Room. The entry code shall be 815. Thank you. All right. There was a clock, remember? 815. <clears throat> uh, scales. Something's gonna happen with the scales. I wonder what's in this room. It has two doors. It must be big. Can I just have regular zombies, please? Looks like a classroom or a lecture hall. Wow. This place is kind of freaky. Oh, I hear you. Ah, uh, look, regular zombies. You gonna get back up? Let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, 
Don't turn that corner. It's locked. A fire motif. This door is not locked. Let's see how far this rabbit hole goes. Excellent! Training facility map. I got a map. Excellent. Someone has used this computer recently. That can't be good. What's the name on the desk? I can't read the name. Benjamin something, I think. Take the microfilm. Sure, we're just taking stuff. All the stuff. This computer was probably used for database searches, but it's covered with dust. The candle is burnt out. Well, it's a good thing. Why can't I use this? Uh, it's locked. If the candle's not lit, use the candle. All right, whatever. Oh, I have to walk up to it with a candle. <clears throat> this light will guide you to a greater truth. Uh, looks like a candle. can't use any of that stuff. So we're gonna have to go find random candle in the mansion. Whoa. Look at this. A square shaped hole you say? What? Why would I not need to use this now? Look at it. Put the square shaped hole in the panel. No. I'll go. You okay. stay there. Does she even have a weapon outside of that shotgun? She does, okay good. So use this thing and lift her up there. See? It keeps telling me no. Use the lift, yes. I solved a puzzle. Excellent. <clears throat> and there's shotgun shells. Excellent. <clears throat> oh shit. That was scary. That's scary. They're dead. They're all dead. Maybe. I hope they're all dead. Boom! I gotta... Uh, uh, he's not getting up. So I guess that must be... I guess that must be okay. Well, I'm gonna come up here to you. I guess not. Health and ammo! Health and ammo! The most important things in this game. Apparently she has all the inventory space of, you know, all the things. Except for didn't pick it up. Alright. Girl with the shotgun. <clears throat> yeah, don't want that. Do you want that? Is that all of them? No, I don't think that's all of them. Kind of looks like all of them. Look, there's an outside area. Herbs everywhere. 
Oh, get off me. Get off me. I tried to shoot him. Get off me. Get off me. Um, okay, this is not good. Ah! Okay, let's wait. No, 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 no. Wrong button. Other button. This button. There we go. Okay, I still got enough of that. Um, I can use that because I got tons of healing around me. That's right. Yeah, you're dead now, bird. You know what I miss? I miss Resident Evil 4. When you shoot the birds in that, they at least are carrying hand grenades and stuff. Which makes no practical sense whatsoever. But, you know, we do the thing. Hmm. Our situation has not improved. No. What's gonna drop on me in here? Let's equip that. I'm really not happy that I have a shotgun that only can fire twice. I need more. Uh, okay, can't go through that door. Knights. Blocking things. What happens if I go down here? I don't want to go down here, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, there's a cage for raising animals. I wonder what kind. And there's lots of open space. Makes me think something's coming to kill me. There's another cage. Look at that. Uh, okay. Let's start the machine. I, I need to get Billy in here too, I guess. Let's go down the stairs. Nothing bad could be down here. Oh. This can't be happening, man. This isn't happening. Oh, yes it is. Look, a door. Okay, reload, reload, reload. Hey, grenade launcher. Hey, look at the grenade launcher. Um, okay, that looks like a lot of stuff that I can't pick up. I don't care about the painting. I want the shotgun shells. Come on. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, this game. Uh, I can't carry that right now. I really should go put that down, but here I am. <clears throat> Hopefully whatever it is I have to fight next. Man, it's a lot of art in this room. Yeah, hopefully whatever I have to fight next does not require me to pick that up. What do I get in here? Not that. There's nothing else in here? There's a clock. Okay, I get that it's broken. What if I set the time? Maybe things will happen. locked a water motif okay okay a couple things first at least now we know where the grenade launcher is second I don't even know what we learned second the door is now unlocked that can be an excellent thing excellent Maybe I can meet up with Billy and we can do stuff in here. Is this the main hall? It's the main hall! Look at that! 
You can run down here and drop some stuff off. That dude's just messed up. Like, who wants to be a part of that? Certainly not this person. I'm gonna leave the gas tank. Let's bring him back here. So we should be able to get through this and get back out to the main area, right? Or not. Well, maybe. Little concern. system disk. Alright, well, can't do that yet. Look, there's a typewriter over there. With, uh, bullets. Don't mind if I do. No, we're not going to record the data right now. Wailing in grief. I mean, if I get attacked by something, like, totally horrific right now, and I have to survive, that's going to be amazing. Back out in the main area? Back out in the main area! Creepy dude's face! Hi, Rebecca. Let me give you these. All of them. Let's drop the microfilm. Let's go pick up the, uh, the other ink ribbons. Because there were some ink ribbons I dropped over here. Now I'll just have a whole bunch. Now we will actually save here. Let's see, 30 minutes. All right. If you will recall at the beginning of the stream, uh, I said that I was not feeling good. Uh, so I will need to take a break here in just a moment. We're gonna save this one. And then we'll be back in just a minute. Excellent!
I've returned. What do you think, Ned? Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. They're dead! They're all dead! I don't know about that. <clears throat> Alright, so... I, I originally said that I was not feeling very well. I'm not feeling very well. And, uh... Honestly, I think I can leave this knife at this point. I think I have enough ammo to pretty much kill everything twice. I haven't even been over to that door, but that's okay. Let's regroup. Roger. I want I'll you go to alone. Roger. They'll come with me. Come on. Roger. Uh, but yeah, I was mentioning before I was not feeling good. Um, I... <clears throat> it turns out, if you haven't noticed, I am a white male. <clears throat> As a white male, spicy food does not agree with me. Let's just leave it at that. I had something tonight that I was told would not be spicy. Turns out that was a lie. It wasn't that spicy, and it shouldn't be this sick, but here I am. Okay, Billy. Do the thing. Okay, you hold that right there. And I'm gonna go complete the two-person puzzle by probably getting attacked by something. What's in here? Yes, I will take a key. Oh, fun! Look! Whoa! Look what we found! Rebecca! Uh, thing. Where is it? Uh, it's right there. I'm just gonna keep shooting. Oh, it got me. Oh, okay. I shot it. A bunch of times. It dropped her. Did I win? Are you all right? Yes. Thank you. Could have let you die again. But of course we didn't. Um uh, Can I go back down here? No, it broke the railing. No way. That's scary. What I mean by scary is that's not scary. Alright, let's see. Fine and fine. Fire design. I saw a fire door. I don't remember where it was, but I saw one. You need to equip a gun. You can't walk around the halls of this mansion without a gun. <clears throat> I don't think this was the place with the fire key. Just putting that out there. No, but now that we're both here, this was a water key. Maybe Billy. Hey, look, he's got lots of inventory room. How about you pick up our friendly nade launcher? And some of those other rounds. Billy? I say Billy Badass. That's right. Let's go, Rebecca. In this door, it goes back out to the front. I wonder if there's something over here. Looks like it. There's not a keyhole. 
The image of a clock. Okay, so I found both clock doors. Now I just need to find the place where I put the clock time in. Which I already know from a memo. What's in this door? This just had the one room. And it had crows in it. <clears throat> See, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm remembering where stuff is. There was no door here, though. Okay. We don't ever need to go back in that room again, I don't think. Excellent! Yes. Hmm. Hang on one sec. Let's take a look. While we're, uh, hold up here for just a moment, I'd like to take a moment and thank all the viewers. We have several tonight. I appreciate it. So this is the only other door I've been in, so that means the fire keys could probably down here somewhere. No, at the end of this hallway is no. You're I'm wrong. Uh. 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 Snails. Ah. This is this is the other door for the clock. Okay, I gotta remember that. Yeah, get off. Yeah. Waste that shotgun ammo. And in that door was the bathroom. We learned a valuable lesson in that bathroom. There's one other door I've been in. This one here. I've not been in that bottom, bottom door over by where the typewriter is. This is the room where you would think that uh, they were having a lecture. Those guys there still guard that door. There was another door like that. This is what took us around to that puzzle initially in the library that went up the ledge so we could get into that swimming pool area. Uh, that was the library. It's locked. Fire motif. That's what she's carrying. Yes, thank you, Rebecca. Let's Rebecca Chambers, let's unlock this door. Intrigue and mystery. What will we find in this room? The music cues have us puzzled. <laughs> I felt good, by the way. I don't know if you were aware. Big ol' sneeze. Excellent! <laughs> Shotgun shells are excellent. I flipped a switch. Um, there's something up there. Well, let's let's do this. Let's put her back here. Let's put him over here pushing the table. Move, Rebecca. I'll go. Okay. Back up. Push table. Switch to her. Now you push table. Maybe we can get whatever it is that's shining up there. I can't carry that item. Follow me. Yeah. Yeah. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you this. Oh, you can't carry it either. Okay, good. You stand right there, Rebecca. Let's split up. Roger. You stay there. I'm going to go back down and see about uh, dropping off everything in my inventory.
Waiting for the zombies to reappear in this room again. This room reminds me of that train car that they just kept showing up for. Game over, man! It's game over! Inventory. Let's leave the ink ribbons. Let's leave this for now, too. I cannot leave any more in this room. Is that what that just said? What? So I can't just use this as a storage facility, it turns out. bring her back down here thus you know creating an excessive amount of time and backtracking and stuff and what room am I supposed to leave it in you know what this is just dumb I'll just leave it in this room whatever it is that I have Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking, okay? I'm thinking out loud. I wonder if that statue she's holding I can put on that scale right now. get it out of my inventory and I wonder if there's a place for the flame door when good and evil are brought into balance a new path will be open for you I can. That's nice, isn't it? All right. You think if I give him two guns, he'll be able to dual wield pistols? My question is, do the things that I left on the ground count as items still sitting here? Because it seems I was able to drop something on the ground. So I combine these, and then I leave them on the ground, and it seems like I have space for stuff. I get him to drop this second gun. And I have space on the ground. See how that works out? Alright, Billy, we'll leave you here. Let's go get that shiny object now. It's shiny. I need it. Alright. A quick stream business note. Uh, we've now been on for 48 minutes. And we have dropped zero frames. I feel great about that. Excellent! <clears throat> How 
How is that door so close? Like, you turn the corner, it's just right there, but it's against a different wall. I feel like that hallway's geometrically wrong. Oh, look, I get to do the whole thing over again. I'm waiting for the day that somebody creates a puzzle where you do something like that, but you pin yourself in the corner with a zombie. Or worse than a zombie. I'm not sure. Yes, there seems to be something here. Yes, I'd like to take the iron needle. Thank you. Assistant Directory's Diary. Oh, Assistant Director's Diary. I said that wrong. This has got to be good. Maybe he'll dish on, you know, Sarah and Billy being in love or something. A useless bunch of trainees, as always. Where does the headquarters find these idiots? Well, this is starting off very well. We did get a couple of decent ones, though, so I guess I can't complain. William and Albert. They might have a future. William and Albert. Albert being Albert Wesker. William being William Birkin. But we haven't been introduced to William Birkin just yet. We have been introduced to Albert Wesker, though. September 25th, Scholar, Will, Practical, Al. They really are opposites, and they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about both of them. October 7th, got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between these two. This is the first time since the training facility was built that Director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Well, whatever. Orders are orders. I'm going to have, to, I'm going to have them tearing at each other's throats. That's got to be good. Uh, okay. I heard a little noise there. Whoa! And I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Zombies? Again? Because they just keep popping out of places. Actually, that's not true. They really haven't popped out of places. They've just kind of been standing there when I've re-entered rooms. Alright, I feel like my next way forward is that other door I haven't been in. So I'm headed down there. You know, legitimately, I bet there are all sorts of speedruns where, uh, you know... People are just leaving characters in different places, and they're like, Oh, Billy, you're there. Follow me. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, cool, you can just do the thing real fast. Ah, oh, sweet. And th there's probably a much more efficient back-and-forth way to do this that I've just not discovered yet. Hey, guess what? I found him. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. You just saved my life. The keeper of all things handgun. Excellent! Fire motif. Maybe we'll lose this damn key after this door. But I want to make sure everybody's dead. More handgun bullets. Sink's faucet is rusty. Not even a single drop of water comes out. My guess is it's... Ugh. This is all just, you know, unpleasant. Okay, use the fire key. You don't need to just throw it away. Yes. Inventory management on the fly. Excellent! Yes. Window open. Okay, we'll take lighter fluid.
Um, I mean, I could take that herb, but I don't think I want to. Ah, the door doesn't open at the refrigerator. Where have I seen that before? What am I? Oh, I'm, I can use. Oh! No, is it gasoline? I, I bet I need to use the gas for that. With the bottles? You know what that'll make? Molotov cocktails! Hey, is everyone else totally proud that it took me lo that long to figure it out? I am totally proud of myself. Also, for what it's worth, I should stop drinking as I, you know, change rooms. Because, perfectly honest, I'm going to go through one of those doors once and be, you know, screwed because I'm not ready. Gas. We're cooking with gas. Not what I meant to do. Yes! <coughs> now you might be asking yourself, well, why did you do that? Well, I got three more bottles over here. Yes! Alright, let's check their inventory. She's got two free spaces. He's got one, but he's also carrying the heavy hitter. I'm gonna have her pick up some of the things. Um, the uh, handle. No. The microfilm. Yeah, like that iron needle. Actually, let's have her pick up uh, the ink ribbons as well. Okay. Use that, thank you. All right, we're gonna save it right now here in the middle. Here we go. We go back into the room with all the zombies. Excellent! We're gonna go through this door over here that we don't know what's over there. Our situation has not improved. Why is that guy not getting up? I feel like that guy should get up. It's game over, man! It's game over! Not good. Stand back, Billy. I, Rebecca Chambers, will protect you. They're gonna get up? Are we good? They're dead! They're all dead! Maybe. I definitely need that. Oh, check that out. Shotgun for the Bilster! I, I really, really want that statue. He's got one space, let's get it. We're gonna go put that back on the other thing and open up a door. We are gonna come back here in a minute though, because there's lots of stuff in this room I want to. 
Like a shotgun that doesn't only hold two bullets. I don't even want to waste my time around that corner yet. I'm gonna go over there eventually. Just not yet. Is he gonna get up? Nope, he's not getting up that time. Maybe it's that guy's shotgun. Maybe he's just gonna get real mad at me. Whoop. Now I'm in the middle. Oh, he's got the, the thing. Okay, let's go upstairs. Alright, when you put statues on a scale, bad things happen. Apparently, no. Move. Perhaps I put them on backwards. balanced. There's a hole in the back. So it means there's some other piece of that statue I need to get. And then we will be good. Ugh. Alright. As we have now reached the hour mark, we're still lost in a mansion. With a big hideous picture of a dude in the middle of it. No! There you go. Uh, Molotov cocktail. She can definitely leave that. Uh, she can also... Well, I don't know. I don't want her to leave that just yet, but I need someone. Let's see. I want you to hold this. I want her to drop him. Like, I should have just dropped him, right? Alright, let's go do this. Let's go see what we can find. that dude to get up. Come on, get up. Nervous? Yes. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. Let's go in here and get the thing. I'd like to welcome Billy to his, uh, his new gun. They say the best weapon is one you never have to fire. I respectfully disagree. I prefer the weapon you only have to fire once. That's how Dad did it. That's how America does it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. Yes, it has. It's worked out very well so far. At least for this game. Look, there's a guy there again. And I hear the people. Look. No auto aim, though, so I can't see them yet. Oh. <laughs> now we're just firing. Hi there. I'm 
believe that we've just made a pile of bodies. They're dead! They're all dead! Think any of them are getting up? Ooh, Rebecca, I know how much you like, uh... Plants, but I also know how much you don't like to have inventory space. So we'll just take one. You know, there's one other thing I want to do. I want to give all of those to Billy. I want him to have the shotgun. Actually, let's not completely leave her defenseless. Let's give you that. Let's have you equip it. <clears throat> if I were her, this is what I'd be shouting at me right now. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. Yeah, I just took all of her guns away from her, essentially. At least all of her bullets. The door is now unlocked. Where does this door go? To a place we've already been, perhaps? To a scarier place? Oh, look at that! We're back in that room with all of the, uh, the learning materials. There's a note there. Regulations for trainees. Don't be stupid. Training facility mission. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corp. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, race, or creed, produce only the best candidates to be the future global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Guidelines. Discipline, obedience, unity. These three words are the basic principles which govern Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourself to your training and bring honor to yourselves and the corporation. James Marcus, director. <clears throat> you gotta be people smart. Smart and inquisitive. I, I don't know. These are just words that they throw around at my job. I, I'm not exactly sure how that works. Okay, can't get anything up there yet. Um, I do feel like I missed some stuff. Like back in the hallway where I took the ladder up. Where I got the, uh... The, uh... The thing. You know, the thing. Where I got Billy's shotgun. Let's get back in here, see what's going on. You gonna get up now? What if I dance on your grave? On your body or whatever? No? Okay, fine. We're gonna go down to the side there, from that little area that we were in. This one. Superheated steam is my enemy. It's my biggest enemy. Okay, so I have to turn that off somehow. Okay. In here, I think I saw everything that there was to see. <clears throat> hmm. Dancing on your grave. Oh, cool. He's got a gun. Whatever. Where else can I go from here that I haven't been? There was the water door in the art room. Go out front. 
but I believe that's the area I was looking down on before. Um, this goes into the bathroom and to that clock room. Yeah, it's got all the little slime things. We gotta step on them. Let's, like, let's step on them. Okay. I didn't step on them fast enough. Check over there. This way. Okay. Yeah, you're wasting all your shots, homie. Go. Go. Apparently, he's just gonna die. This was just the bathroom. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Clearly, nothing in there. So, what was up in the library? I mean, we can always run back down into the sewer. I've already been through the bottom part over there. This room over here had nothing in it anymore. There was just a room. The one on the there's one room on the other side <clears throat> that is blocked by a time. Can't go into the time thing. This door I opened. This takes us back up to where I fight the bug, where I fought the bug. And that's the art room. There's a door in here I can't get through because of the knights. That's what we wanted. That space over there didn't have anything in it. It was just the big giant space where you fought the bug. Going back this way would take us to the library. <clears throat> oh, this is where we shot the crows. Maybe she wants these. Let's look at her inventory. Nope, she definitely doesn't. I don't really feel like picking them up right now either. Okay, so we were outside here. Herbs, that's the way down. There's a tablet out there, you can see it. More herbs. Back inside this side. We're back into the library, but we're upstairs, not downstairs. Never gonna understand chat. Although, look at that. Who's the one carrying all the ammo? She is. Uh, move. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Gee golly willikers. Will you pick up the bullets? Thank you. Excellent! So excited. Okay. Oh! Well, I want to put the minute hand on it right here. 
Look what we found. We found it! Yes. Uh, I want to move the hour hand to eight. Uh, we want to turn the minute hand to 15. Right there. I believe that we've now opened up doors. That's what it said to do, right? Oh, there you go. I push OK. I can't just exit out. Click open, and that room in the main hallway, click open. That's right. How many of you doubted me? I doubted me. What do you think, Ned? Oh, I'm scared. It's always nice to be doubted by family. <laughs> uh, can you exchange those? How about right there? Take them. And she can pick up some herbs. So we might need some. Being doubted by family is the best. If you haven't tried it recently, I highly recommend calling up your mom mom i've made a life change and then say something that you know is just gonna upset her to no end and uh you know just feel that warmth just wash over you i know you're kidding do you think that i'm not kidding also liquid courage oh finished one Nervous? Yes. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. Yeah. That's why we drink the liquid courage. I've had two. And, uh... We're itching for more. Well, since we're here and we unlocked this door, let's go in here. Excellent! Yeah, this is gonna be so bad. <coughs> okay. We killed all of them for a verse of poetry. They're dead! They're all dead! The moon bows to the earth. The earth swears loyalty to the sun. And the great law of the sun governs all things. This itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to heaven. Cool. Um, that's what I like to call an interpretive verse. Sure, let's take more microfilm. Because I've got microfilm A and I haven't done anything with that yet. Sheesh. Uh, look, they're all dead. They're all just laying on the floor there. And I need shotgun shells. Because getting inventory items is good. Excellent! Very good. I just found raspberry Coca-Cola and peach Coca-Cola. It's pretty tasty. Well. Not really a fan of Coca-Cola. I, I like my, my, uh, my alcoholic versions of lemonade and my Mountain Dew. 
Oh, and my A&W root beer. I don't want to ever negate that. For what it's worth, I just want everyone to know my position on this because it's incredibly important. Um, all other root beers are inferior to A&W root beer. Barks. Uh, Mug. Mug has like the worst aftertaste ever. Uh, even things like these strange, like someone was telling me, no man, dad's root beer is the best. And I'm like, what the fuck is dad's root beer? And then I had one. Let me just tell you, it is not the best. I can understand why some people front that it is, but it most clearly is not. I feel like I should just, I should have her drop her gun. I should have her drop her shotgun, because there's just no reason for it at this point. You carry the pistol and, you know, pretend to do hard things. Yeah. Now let's go pick up the other microfilm, because I have a... I have a feeling I'm going to need it here. Sure. So, a very special guest in the chat tonight, my sister, is trying to bring up the time that my grandfather used to make trash can root beer. He'd line the inside of the trash can, get some, uh, some dry ice together, and he would make his version of root beer. It was quite good for what it was, but I can't get that anymore. So... You know, just as far as a... I'm sure that there are, are barbecue pits out there that some dude has made the greatest sauce ever. And I've just never been exposed to it to try it or whatever. And, you know, having had it in my life, I can't have it on a consistent basis. So rather than get all, you know, uppity for my grandfather's root beer, A&W, homies. Oh, I moved, which means there's bad people. I believe we killed them. Oh, whoa! No, we didn't kill anything! They're still alive! Okay, are they still alive? Are we good now? Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, I, I can't tell if we do or not. Pick up the bullets. Okay, I told you to pick up the bullets. I can't carry that. Why can I not carry that? Don't you have a lot of bullets? You do. Whatever. Is that a... The projector isn't displaying anything at the moment. Well, let's give it some microfilm to look at. What do you say? It's a microfilm? <laughs> I could view its contents. It's amazing that I just happened to have picked these up. View. It's a code. Insert number two. Look at the seats. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, the very front. So we got that. There's something written on the top of the seats. Okay, I. Oh, I got a disc. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take the disc. Okay. I guess I just got, you know, all the answers to all the puzzles. But did I get all the items? Is it just me, or does that little thing next to the microfilm projector look like a Wii? It looks like an original Wii. I don't understand why you can't carry that right now, but let's check and see if he can. Uh, let's check and see if he needs to. You have 226 bullets? No, thank you. Hmm. I do remember enjoying my, fam my family's root beer. My family's root beer was good for what it was. Let me guess. More enemies now. Nope. It was good for what it was. It's a good memory of a child. I also remember him being a beekeeper. And him brewing it in an area outside where there were bees. Just a theory. Alright, 
We're going up to the desk. It said I needed a disc before. Do I have this disc? I don't think I do. But we're gonna try it anyway. System disc required. I didn't see anything written anywhere. Alright. So I went in both rooms. I didn't see anything. I'm gonna go back into this room and see if I missed something. I do want to announce to everybody who could possibly hear me, we hit 50 followers. Fifty followers was the first goal. Get a couple of them hooked up. And then we're going to push for fifty more. Okay, let's see. Do I, I have files? Microfilm image. Something about the sun. Regulations for trainees. Oh, she does have the MO disc. Dude, come on. Come on. This game. This game and its crappy inventory management. So I'm trying not to complain, but it's not working. Apparently, freaking Snowy has found the emotes. And he's about to, uh... He's about to cap this thing up. Alright. Everyone pay attention. Because now that I actually know what's in my inventory, I can do this thing. Complete. Access complete. Release system activated. Please enter the passcode. Zero A. Yes, there is. Zero and A. This is zero. So zero, one. Oh, let's. Ha! I get it now. I'll go. Yeah. And now we switch, and we'll both push them. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A. Okay. She's gonna push it. And then he's gonna push it. And two player puzzles solved! Check it out. How many people knew that was gonna happen? I did, you know why? Because there were no other doors left for me to go find. This way. Roger. Oh, a door opened. Let's go see what we found. Excellent! Oops. They're dead! They're all dead! No, they're definitely not. My God, it's coming right for us! Yeah, that's the problem. Make sure the hall is completely clear. We'll go through the single door first. Double doors mean bad things. Single doors mean sort of bad things. And silence in the music. 
means all sorts of bad things. Did you see that? I was in peril by that ferocious charging buck. Oh my gosh. And I didn't scream this time. Yeah, you know, she's carrying his health and pistol ammo. Whatever. All he's carrying is the firepower of, you know, arsenal. First investigate first investigation unit notes. Learning to speak is hard. We are searching the facilities and it looks like a lot of the chemicals survived un or fortunately, not unfortunately. I said that wrong. Again. Fortunately, the storage tanks are still at full. We have just started and there is a lot we do not know. But it appears that the chemicals can be mixed to produce new substances. The chemicals are scattered all about, not because of the accident, more a result of plain mismanagement. Oh, they really should get, uh, they should really get some management in there. When we reopen the facilities, we will have to develop a system for dealing with these chemicals. Something is scrawled on the back of the note. Red plus blue equals sulfuric acid. Green plus red equals stripping agent. Let's remember that. Somebody write that down. I'll need a container to carry it. Do we have a container? My guess is we don't have a container. But one of those other armor doors will give us one. Oh. Uh, maybe there'll be a container in here. The nice thing about her carrying health items around nonstop is if you need them, she has them. If you don't need them and you need the inventory space, you can just burn them. Chess pieces. My goodness. Let's look at his chessboard and try to mimic it. The game ended in checkmate. I would like to take those, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to have her take that. Whatever that is. Probably ink ribbons. Yeah, because I don't have enough of those. Alright. So. Based on the chessboard over there. The black corner is correct. The pawn next to the castle. Castle next to the king. See that? Where are we going to move him? First off, we're going to move the king over. No, I don't think we want to do that. We're going to move this guy over one. Okay, let's let's not do that. Okay, maybe now we won't die. Or maybe we will. Remember a minute ago when I said, look at all the health I brought? Let's just be happy for everybody's poisoned. This room had two blue herbs in it, so that's something. So I had to move the king over, but I didn't want to move it over so far that I couldn't push it down. There you go. Use. Now he's good. Now she needs to use one. And she's still caution. For real? From what? Whatever. I think the only piece I need to move on that board is the king. <clears throat> but I was going to move the, the castle out, move the king over, move the king into place, then move the castle back. Apparently, I'm not going to do that now. If you move the other pieces, bad things t looks like they happen.
Can you get this? Yes, after killing those zombies, she can use the ammunition. Okay. I'm gonna move the king. See, I just gotta move him over one space, but, you know. Since that's not gonna happen. Without killing everybody. There you go. Evil! Uh, no, don't move any of those. Thank you, Rebecca Chambers. Rebecca Chambers! Yes, I'm going to take the Book of Evil. Wait, there's more. Marcus's Diary 1. December 4th. We did it. The new virus. We have called it Progenitor. I want to carry it back and start detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. That gives him like three months. Do you think he carried it back? Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care. As long as I can continue my research into Progenitor. He can do what he likes. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's becoming intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this to my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all those viruses' secrets. In a place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Damn that Spencer. He came to complain to me again. He thinks the progenitor is nothing more than a money-spinning tool. Fool! But if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for my research. If I'm to properly develop progenitor, I must strengthen my own position too. September 19th. It's like a year later. At last, I've discovered a way to build a new virus type with progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA was the breakthrough I needed. This new virus, T for tyrant. Or I call this new virus T for tyrant. October 23rd. It's no good. I can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans can be a proper mammalian subject for the experiments. Because that always turns out really, really well, and that's how all things should be done. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. November 15th, someone seems to suspect something about my experiments, but perhaps it's just my imagination. This is what they call mad science, not weird science. Mad science. Well, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves ex unexpectedly assisting in my research. Well, that sounds great. January 13th. At last, they are ready, my wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence, they will never have the privilege of tasting this sense of joy and satisfaction. Now, finally, finally I can move against Spencer. Whew, this diary is boring. Okay, soon I will control everything. January 31st. The devices I set to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for the tea and the leeches. Fool! No doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today I again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. This is what they're after. I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke them out. Or smoke out the pests. Those two are the only ones I trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. But Spencer, it wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce tea at the next director's meeting, at the next director's meeting, and collect my just rewards. Oh, thank God it's over. Mad scientist. Pick that up. Can you please pick that up? Thank you. I didn't even have to do anything. I turned a little bit. Okay, I want you. So that diary's over, and mad science was uh, was apparently explained. Whoa! Our situation has not improved. Nope. Okay. So, did we get everything in the far room? We did. We need to come back for the chemicals once we have containers. Containers. We have two more doors to explore that I can think of. There's the front door. Always a good time. 
And then there is the door up where that giant bug attacked us. Which I believe is over there. We can just go over. Actually, I'm going to run out to the middle. This seems like a good time to take a break. Been on for an hour 38. Again, as far as stream things go, zero dropped frames. Everything seems to be rocking and rolling tonight. Let's get out of this damn mansion. All right, we're going to take a few minutes of break. What time is it? 7.13. Let's call it... I don't know. Let's call it 7.18. Five minutes. Go up. Get some hydration. Refresh yourself. Feel a little bit better. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. And that's what these breaks are for. You not missing life. That was a joke. Um, Alright. Five minutes, we'll be back.
718 on the dot, I came back. Checking things, making sure everything is good. Summer follower goal. This is the part where I pitch that. Uh, the summer follower goal. The goal is by the end of the summer to get to 100 viewers. Or 100 followers, excuse me. <clears throat> get some of that... Uh, get some of that, you know, hype. Hype! Gotta get that hype. Um, but yeah, very much want to... Uh, oh, something's down here. I'll explain it later. They're dead! They're all dead! My God, it's coming right for us! They're not dead yet. What the hell is this? Oh, these clicker bugs. Oh! 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 oh I have no ammo. I have zero ammo. Let's go. Let's go. How do I run out of shotgun shells? What do you waste them all on? Things and stuff. Well. A couple of things. First, she can't carry that item. Definitely gonna take that. Um, let's have her use that because you know reasons. Let's switch to him and check him and see why he's not got. You see, he's got seven shells in the thing, and all the shells. Are, why was he not shooting? Oh, that's annoying. I really don't have the inventory space to be collecting things out of here. So let's go back. Let's blow these things away. Alright. I think everybody's feeling pretty good about that. I know I am. Okay, so back to what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by the bugs. The summer viewer goal. Trying to get to 100 followers by the end of the summer. That's August 31st, I believe I marked it as. Uh, 60 days to go. We're halfway there. Now, don't get me wrong. The disingenuous part of this is that uh, it took me like three years to get to 50 followers. Uh, not because, you know, I didn't... Well, I didn't do this every day. I didn't do it all the time. And uh, now... I'm doing it more, so I would like to uh, see that grow. I'd like to take it a little more seriously, while not taking it seriously at all. Yeah, clearly, clearly imbalanced, or imba, as we we once called it in the StarCraft community. Protoss imba. That's all you got to say, and people know what you're talking about. He can't carry anything right now. She can. Not the shotgun. Take the ink ribbon. There you go. Alright, before we move too far out, first things first, let's save it. I think it's really weird that the two typewriters I found in this game are in the room directly upstairs above me and this one. At least after you get off the train. There was one on the train. She's not carrying any health.
where that doctor thing was, there was lots of health. There's lots of health all over the place. I don't understand why I'm not finding any. Or... I'm thinking I'm not finding any. Was there some in here? I don't think there was any in here. Whatever. We're moving on. I'm gonna find some health. And there's probably some in there, but I don't care. Is there something up here again? Oh good, there's not. It's just sound effects. What do you think, man? Oh, I'm scared. Yep, definitely scared. Look, it's an observatory. We can climb down. Stone tablets. We saw one of those outside. Remember those, uh... Those unity principles? It was, uh, strength, power, unity, or something like that. Door is locked, okay? So we can't really do anything out here just yet. Go out the front door. We remember seeing... I remember seeing one of those uh, tablets out the front door. I bet I'm going to go out the front door, get one of the tablets, get the key to the water room, come back in here to the art room, and go into the water room, and be like, oh, look, everything's great. Yeah, man, it's been a really long time since I played this. Up on the top of that. Let me guess, I gotta go out to the balcony and, like, shoot it down or something, right? Huh. <laughs> okay. So I can't get in here to do anything. Hmm. There's no response. It's not getting any power. And I have nothing to give it power. So it looks like that's a bust. Did I miss something? feel like I missed something. That was the room with the chess. This was the room with the medicine. Stripping agent. Okay, first aid spray is good.
Need a container. Where am I going to get that container? I have no idea. There was this area. There was the area with the telescope. And that's it. There's nothing in here anymore. At least as far as I can tell. Yep. Couldn't get past the steam down below yet. Let's see what our inventory looks like. seem to have wasted a lot of healing items, so getting them is excellent. Excellent! This is where we shot all the people. We go down the ladder into that place where I got the shotgun. a noise. Oh, it's not a pleasant noise. That's not a noise I like. Okay. The steam was still going down here last time I checked. Yes. So we can't get through there. Maybe that guy will get up here. Whoa! Get up. Uh. Um. Okay. The only other thing that I can think of, there was the door that had the candle on it. And I did get some lighter fluid to light a candle, possibly. But I didn't see a candle. That was the problem. And I could try and take that back up there. Now I'm back out of the main room. Need to drop some stuff. Specifically this. Actually, you know what? We are up on two hours. I want to do a break right here. Uh, because I want to split the videos up so that they're easy to look at. Um, you know, as a as a collection. So two hour video here of wandering the mansion, getting a bunch of stuff done. I think this will conclude part two. Uh, but I will probably also do part three tonight. So this has been part two. 
We opened the front door. We opened most of the doors. There's a couple still. And uh, we're gonna continue. On. If not tonight, definitely tomorrow, so. <sighs> All right, there we go. So, uh, a couple points of business for what's going on. Whoa, whoa. whoa there we go. A couple points of business. I do not know why this is freaking out right now, but it seems to be. There we go. All right, couple points of business. Uh, first, if you have not clicked on the follow button to become one of the followers for my summer follower goal, please do so. I would appreciate it. There may be some giveaways incoming for the people who click follow and the people who have watched the stream for lengthy amounts of time. Um, that's first. Second, uh, with GDQ being over and me not wanting to sit staring mesmerizingly at that uh, event anymore, uh, I'll be back here streaming. Uh, next goal we will do tomorrow. Well, I'm not sure. I'm going to go upstairs and find out what's going on. Then We may do part three tonight. We may do part three tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. But I will be back, and uh, we will continue on. Thank you very much for tuning in tonight. If you have any questions, as always, you can send me a message through Twitch, uh, or you can find me on Twitter. I believe it's posted underneath the channel. Um, send me a message. Tell me about all the things. Go. You suck. I'll go, okay. They're dead! They're all dead! No, that's not what I would say. I would say this. I'm on jacked up on Mountain Dew! That's right. <clears throat> or... Excellent! Definitely like that one, too. But don't forget two things. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Yep, that's part of the reason why we're stalling out tonight, so that we can uh, break these videos up. Continuation of the Resident Evil Marathon. We're going for all the Resident Evil games I have, um, or have access to, before the remaster of Resident Evil 2 comes out in January. Whew. Man, I'm tired. I still don't feel good. Whoa. Yeah, so. All right. We'll catch you on the next stream. Thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, have a good night. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.